makes you feel better. I mean, I, I get my work out in the gym. I don't really want to have to get it out here lifting patients up. Being able to do all the work to take the strain off of my back and my partner's back. The PowerFlex does all of the work for us. It does all of the raising and lowering. All we have to do is lift it to put it in the truck. With using this cot, it's impacted me very much. My back feels a lot better the next day. As far as workers' comps or insurance rates, um, we, like I said, we've been running the PowerFlex for just about two years now, and uh, we have not had a single injury with it. Um, I know prior to that we've had some lifting injuries uh, prior to running the PowerFlex cod, but as of now we have not had any. You know, the PowerFlex has uh, performed well for us. We've never had a situation where we didn't have enough power to raise the load of the cot. Nah, the PowerFlex has always had enough power to lift every patient we've had. Power's always been there with these cots. And it's actually proven, I was doubtful about it at first because I didn't think it would be able to lift 700 pounds. So we actually took three guys on, on one of the shifts and added their weight together to 700 pounds and put them on the cot. But after the first two times, the power would run out of it. If you have to change batteries, you're also going to take your time away from the patient. As opposed to being able to care for the patient the entire time, now you've redirected your time to changing a cot battery. Usually if you carry it with you, it's going to be in the truck. So now you've got to go back to the truck just to get a battery. And then you have to come back out to the patient. You're just taking time away from that patient. Carrying the battery around. We've already got to carry half the time several different bags, monitors, portable suctions to go into a critical scene. Carrying one more thing, it's something that would be quite heavy. It's just one less thing we have to carry. If we had to carry around extra batteries and change out batteries during the call, it would uh, certainly delay what we need to be focused on, and that's patient care ultimately. Um, one of our formal style, style cots that we had, we did have to change batteries. Uh, we, we operated off of um, a 24 volt battery system, and we would have to change batteries whenever we ran out of power. And that was always frustrating on a call to have to do that. Um, with this battery system and with the charging system, we don't have to worry about that. That's one less, less thing that we have to worry about. You know, with the PowerFlex cot and the charging system, the, the integrated charging system, uh, we have had a completely charged battery on every call and haven't had a charging issue at all. It, it's one less thing we have to carry and worry about. It's great that it's actually on the cot itself and it's always being charged. We don't have to worry about that additional weight. So we don't ever have to change the battery. The end the fastener charging system has uh, worked wonderfully. It, uh, every morning when we come in at shift change, we check our cot and check our battery and we have a full battery. We never have to worry about whether the battery is ready to go or not or swapping the battery out on calls or losing power. After using the PowerFlex and going back to manual cots, I feel very, very upset. I personally would never go back to manual cots after using the PowerFlex cot, and several of our uh, several of our paramedics and EMTs have said they love the PowerFlex cot. Um, just being able to you know do all of the lifting with with the push of a button um, is wonderful. I definitely would not like to go back to manual cot after using. Hello, my name is Hillary Keller. I'll be your host for today. I'm the marketing manager here at Furno. Today we're broadcasting live from the Furno Customer Experience Center. As you can see, we have an ambulance box here in our center. We have paved roadways, carpet. We also have brick walkways and stairwells. Everything you see day in and day out on the job, we have here for you to try our products on, find out what solution works best for your service. We'd like to invite you to come here in person, experience this for yourself. If you're unable to come here, get in touch with your regional sales specialist and they can set up a virtual tour for you. Either way, make sure you don't miss this great opportunity. Hopefully most of you just caught our video about Burlington Fire. They're PowerFlex users and they have some great information to share. 
I'm going to be joined now by Chris Bordnick and David Moody, our newest, newest regional sales specialist for Florida. They already have a patient loaded on the cot, and they're going to walk us through the load and unload of the PowerFlex. Thanks, Hillary. Thank you, Chris. We're going to demonstrate uh, how to load a patient into the ambulance on the PowerFlex. The first thing we do is move the cot towards the back of the ambulance. Ensure that the safety hook is holding the safety bail. Go to the end of the cot. There's two telescoping handles. Like under normal, a manual cot, you would normally have one person on that side and one at the end. With the power cot, we actually have two people at one end. So there's two telescoping handles on this cot. We're going to grab the control frame here and the telescoping handle. Simply depress the button. The legs will retract. Wheel the cot into the back of the ambulance. Go ahead. To take the patient out, reverse the process. And yeah. Down. Down. There we go. Release the safety bail and glide the cot out. We're going to lower the cot. Ground level, take the patient out. We'll put the restraints back up. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. One of the unique features of this cot, it has the capability to do integrated charging. So you don't have to mess with charging battery packs constantly and having them laying around waiting for them to charge to take the power cot out. This one has integrated charging. On the side here is two contact points. When we go into the back of the ambulance and the cot is hooked into the fastener, that contact point contacts the points on the fastener and the cot charges automatically. So there's no need for any more charging battery packs. Uh, I'd like to go over the features of this cot. It has a five position drop frame. This is good if we're in a confined space, if we have a smaller operator, if we need to move and shorten the cot at any given time. The nice thing about our drop frame is if I had to lift, I can lift in this position. It has a reinforced gas assist headrest. Our mattress actually clips on rather than have Velcro, so you don't have to worry about bloodborne pathogens. The battery pack itself, there's two 12 volt lead acid batteries in this sealed compartment. It has an indicator light here. Green, the battery is good. Yellow, it needs to be charged. Or red, it needs to be serviced. As we move down the side of the cot, this cot has standard sidearms. You can actually get universal sidearms that will actually fold forward and then down. Coming to the bottom of the cot, it has a Trendelenburg for patients in shock. Turning it this way so you can see the control panel. On the control panel, we have the pull handle. We actually extended it out now, so you don't have to worry about catching the base of it on your heel. The control panel itself will rotate down, middle, or all the way up depending on the height of the operator or what's most comfortable for you. On off switch here and another battery indicator light. Right now it's showing green, fully charged. If it's in the red, it'll show you that the cot needs to be recharged. There is a manual release on this cot on the right hand side should it become necessary to operate it in manual mode. The cot, the other thing about the PowerFlex is it's extremely stable. And the reason that is, is our wheel base is actually wider and longer. And the front leg of the cot is longer than the back leg. So I can actually sit on the end of the cot, have it go up, all the way and not have to worry about the cot flipping. So the ability to have integrated charging, the ability to have a stable cot that you don't have to worry about flipping, are two of the key elements of the Ferno PowerFlex. Lastly, we actually have a large body surface board that you can convert this cot to a bariatric cot. Hillary, would you hand me that? All you do is remove the restraints, remove the mattress,
take the large body surface board, drop your side arms, and on the cot is four mounting blocks. You line the mount mounting blocks up with the LBS board. and take the wire pins and insert them to secure the LBS board. Once the LBS board is secured, you can actually pull the red cables, fold the wings out. Now it can accommodate large bariatric patients. I'll show it to you from this side. It extends the width of the cot, because most bariatric patients are quite large. The max load height on this cot is 33 inches. The max load capacity is 700 in the load position and 1,000 in the lowest. We also have, with the LBS board, an optional LBS mattress that will fit right on the board to allow that large patient, patient to be comfortable. And that's the Ferno PowerFlex. I'd like to remind you all that you can chat with us at any time. Send us your questions. There's a chat function in the bottom right-hand corner. You do not have to log in. Simply enter a nickname and go ahead and type in your questions there. We do have a few questions that have already come in. Chris, what kind of accessories can we get with the PowerFlex? There's a variety. You can get an IV pole, telescoping handles, a soft net on the head end of the cot, an O2 bottle holder on the head end of the cot, and you can even get a bariatric tow kit. It comes with the tow package as well as lift handles. Okay. Um, are there push and pull handles available? There are push and pull handles available in okay. the bariatric package. What is the difference between the LBS and the LBS Junior? The LBS Junior has expandable wings, whereby the LBS is a fixed large body surface board. Okay. Now, what kind of service would be looking for a PowerFlex? Where do you run into customers asking for a PowerFlex? Who should consider this product? Well, I always ask the question. Uh, are you doing a lot of bariatric work? We know patients are getting larger. And are your work comp costs and you're seeing a high and are you seeing a lot of work-related injuries in terms of back injuries? If the answer is yes to those two questions, then you really need to entertain looking at a powered cot. Okay. A popular question that I know comes up a lot is battery cycles. What do people need to know about the, the batteries and the ICS and things like that? Well, our batteries have no memory. Thereby, there's, I can't tell you exactly a number of cycles the cot will remain charged as long as it's in the fastener. So it's not where you have to condition the batteries once a month. There's no, you know, it depends on the weight of the patient, how many patients, how many runs, how heavy. So there's no fixed number of cycles, but you shouldn't have any issue because the battery will always be charged. Okay. What about the cleaning process? How would you recommend cleaning the PowerFlex? You can pressure wash this cot up to 36 inches away. Um, but most services will wipe it down with a antibacterial bleach to kind of decontaminate the cot. Okay. Are there any um, issues with um, like the sidearms? Are there two sidearms available, I believe? Two different ones. The set that's on here currently and the universal. Okay. And what's the difference between those? The universals, like these are fixed. The universals, you can actually slide them forward, then out, and then all the way down. Okay. And you can also get a shield that goes across the sidearm. So if you want to do an IV, you can rest the arm on it. And if you could go over one more time what the load height is. We have someone who wanted to verify that. Load height is 33 inches. Okay. Max weight, 700 in the load position, 1,000 pounds in the lowest position. And again, that is the max load height. I believe our ambulance here at the CEC is set at 31 today. Yes. So you could do less than 33. 33 is the max. Will the cot lift from the lowest position without assistance? Yes. Absolutely. Let's see how that works. Will it lift from the lowest position without assistance mm -hmm. in terms of having two people? Correct. Right. It is a two-person operation. It's never recommended that you use this cot with one person. Can you explain one more time what the handle for the PowerFlex is for, this pull-out handle here? We have a couple questions about sure. that. Sure. This pull-out handle is actually longer now and because we have this board on it. But as I pull it out, I don't have to worry about hitting my ankles with the frame of the cot. So in the future, um, customers that have, who have the LBS, you would want to pull that out first before you yes, put the LBS absolutely. on. Okay. Let's remove this real quick. Got that. 
Dick. Can you demonstrate one more time which lever it is for the Trendelenburg, if we remove the LBS sure. there? Sure, I'm going to pull the LBS off. Pull the pins out. Lift the LBS. I'll take that for you. And if you just want to turn towards the camera so sure. the folks the can see. All you have to do is lift the bottom of the cot, lift the foot end. It'll come up to put it back down. But these are your two questions. We're actually going to put the original mattress back on. Hillary, if you could bring me that. Are there more questions coming in? Yeah, I have a few more for you here. But sure. Go ahead. Okay. Um, how hard is it to use the LBS with a normal patient? Do you recommend using it just for bariatric situations? And if you weren't using it, is there a place to store it? Like, what do people usually do? It will, well, you can use it on any large patient. It doesn't have to be a bariatric person. If you okay. had somebody who would just happen to be large. Just a little wider. It's yeah, more comfortable wider. for the patient. Mm -hmm. How would you store it? The, bit, the LBS board will actually fold into half its original size. And you can store it usually in a compartment. They store it in the side of the ambulance in the back. Okay. Um, and someone wants to know if these cots are available in the market today in the U.S. Absolutely. You can contact your local Ferno regional sales specialist within your region, and they'll be more than happy to come over, do an evaluation, do a demonstration for you. And internationally as well, contact your dealer or sales rep, and they can get you in contact with what cots are available locally for you. If, if you want a demo, you can call 877-733-733. 0911, and they'll be more than happy, like I said, to put you right in contact with your regional sales specialist. If you want to see anything um, that we covered today, this video will be available on YouTube later this week at our channel, Aferno EMS. But I also suggest everybody log on to AfernoEMS.com and check out the PowerFlex site there. You'll find um, videos, spec sheets, everything you probably have questions on that you didn't get to today, and we'll be getting ready to close here. Um, if you're looking for a quotation as to what the pricing is on this cot, feel free to call that number or contact your local regional sales specialist. They'll be more than happy to, local, to work up a quote for you and get it right back to you. If you're not sure who your rep is, feel free again to go to FernoEMS.com and you can get in touch with us there at customer service. We'll get you in contact with the right person, no problem. We're going to close with a video to give you a little bit more insight. If we didn't get to your question, we will email you within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you for your time. Um, using the power stretcher, I do feel that I do have more energy when I do get home. Um, able to do some of those errands that I need to do. Um, whereas if I was using a mountain stretcher, I might have not had the energy to do it. I would say I still have more energy at the end of the day now than I did prior to the electric stretchers. I still have, you know, the momentum to go to the gym as opposed to before. Out in the field and actually use it, they come back feeling refreshed, like they didn't have to work that hard. They're working smarter, not harder. Shaving on their backs, shaving their energy, and um, still being able to complete a day's worth of work without coming back uh, feeling all beat up and fatigued. The power structure has definitely, in my eyes, prevented a lot of injuries I can see firsthand from the amount of people on light duty now um, has really gone down. It's, I injured my back once with a manual stretcher and the power stretcher I've had no problems whatsoever as far as back pain. It's, it's a lot easier and safer. Before my company bought the power stretchers, um, I did have a back injury. Uh, since my company has had the power stretchers, uh, that was about, for about a year now, I, have, I haven't had any injuries. Since utilizing the power flex stretcher, we've seen a decrease in the amount of injuries. Um, in addition to that, we've seen a decrease in the frequency of the amount of days the employees are out if they are injured, and the types of injuries have um, decreased altogether. Some of the things we like best about the power set stretcher, of course, is the ease of loading and unloading, um, the ease of being able to transfer patients from bed to stretcher, the wide wheelbase that helps prevent tipping, the no pinch points, the ergonomics that makes it easy for anybody to utilize no matter what their height. 
um, the reflective striping on the stretcher, which allows visibility of crews when they're out there working in the night to help prevent people from backing into them or bumping into them. Safety has to be a priority, and there's a lot of safety features that we like with the PowerFlex stretcher. <laughs> It just plugs right into our truck. It's always charging and it's always ready for us to use. This is just really easy. You don't worry about losing power on a call. Um, I've never had to even go below with full power on the road. And we'll do 10 calls back to back. And throughout those calls, it's always being charged on our drive. So I've never had any problem with it. If we were having to replace batteries, I would hate to go on an emergency call have to replace a battery when we really need to be inside helping that patient. Carrying batteries and having to worry about changing them all the time would definitely take away from your mindset of what you're doing, and I think that would be detrimental to our patients. The heaviest patient that I've lifted on the, uh, on the Cotter Power Stretcher has been in excess of four, almost 500 pounds and it's been a breeze. Before this, it used to be very chaotic. You needed a lot of extra hands to help lift a manual stretcher with 400 pounds on it. Um, so with the new PowerFlex stretchers, it is much easier. Once you have the patient on, it's a lot less stressful. You know you can lift the patient without um, having that unbalance or that une uneven body distribution. So it's a lot easier. You know, you can just press the button and lift them up. Going back to a man would be like, uh, like a punishment, I guess. I'd be going like from steak to hamburger again, and I wouldn't want to make that change.